Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about the last section of uh, logs. We're going to solve exponential and log equations. We're going to do some practice problems. All right, so here we go. First set of problems. Tell whether the x value is a solution of the equation. All right, so what we want to do is we want to take this particular equation, the first part prior to the comma, we want to rewrite an exponential form and determine whether or not the log form and the exponential form match each other. Right, so we remember that log with a base of e is the same thing as natural log, or written as ln. Right, so if I say natural log of x is equal to 3, if I were to rewrite that in exponential form, it would be e to the third is equal to x. So these two forms match each other. x is going to be the value that you're identified here in number one. And number two, I have natural log of uh, x is equal to 4. If I were to rewrite this in exponential form, it would be e to the fourth is equal to x. And we can see that this is not, x is not the same in this uh, set of equations as it is in this. So I know that x is not equal to 4e, it's equal to e to the fourth based on this equation here. So the x value given is not a solution of the equation. So in the first one it is, in the second it's not. In the third, again, I rewrite this as e to the fifth is equal to x, and I can see that this is saying x is equal to 5 to the e, so this is not, the second part after the right, uh, after the comma is not a solution of the equation. All right, moving on to the next set of problems. Solve the equation by equating exponents. So I have the same base here. I can equate the exponents. x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1. Uh, and what ends up happening is x can be any value, right? x, since the two uh, exponents are the same, x can be any value, so there's no solution to this. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x is equal to x. Okay, in the next problem, number 14, I have 4 to the 2x is equal to 4 to the x plus 2. That means 2x uh, is equal to x plus 2. And I'm just going to step back a second. I'm going to go back to the lesson just to refresh your memory. Uh, we were talking about e equating exponents. So we just remember if the bases are the same, then we can eliminate the bases and just use the exponents uh, as part of an algebraic expression. So let's go back to what we had originally talked about in the lesson. We said properties of equality, exponential equations. When we had the same base uh, for b to the x is equal to b to the y, then we can say x is equal to y if b is a positive number and b is not 1. Right, so that's what we're doing in this set of problems. So I have 2x is equal to x plus 2. I subtract x from both sides and I get x is equal to 2. So in this case there is no solution or an infinite number of solutions. And then finally, I have 7 to the x is equal to 7 to the 2x minus 3. Again, I equate the exponents, so x is equal to 2x minus 3. I add 3 to both sides, and I subtract x from both sides, and I get x is equal to 3. Okay, in the next set of uh, problems, we're going to solve the equation by taking the appropriate log of each side. So I can rewrite this as log with a base of 2 of 16 is equal to x and I can see that 2 to the x 2 needs to be 4 if I'm not mistaken so 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 so x ends up being uh, 4. Next I have log with a base of 5 of 22 is equal to x and now I'm going to use I'm going to need to use my change of base formula in order to solve and I'm going to rewrite this as log with a base of 10 or common log 22 divided by log base uh, 10 of 5 and I type that into my calculator so you can work along with me log 22 divided by log 5 and I uh, end up with an answer approximately 1.92 as my answer for x. And finally I have e to the x is equal to 3. 
I can rewrite that as a natural log of 3 is equal to x. So remember, this is the base of e. e to the x is equal to 3. So in my calculator, you can work along with me again. I type in natural log of 3. That gives me my answer for x. It's approximately 1.10. Okay, move it on. I'm going to solve the equation and check for extraneous solutions. I have a log base 10 of x is equal to log base 10 of 5. I can see that x and 5 are going to be the same value, right? So I have whatever value I get here is going to be the same value for both x and for 5. So x in this case is equal to 5. And in this case I have the same base again, uh, base of e base of e here, so I know 3x minus 1 is equal to x. I'm going to add uh, 1 to both sides and subtract x from both sides, and I get 2x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 1 half. All right, so in this case, if I have the same log expression, the same base, then these values here I can equate. When I equate them, I can simply solve for x. Again, 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 half. And now moving on to the last set of equations, I'm going to solve the equation by exponenti exponentiating each side. So I have, again, log, uh, common log is a base of 10. So I say 10 to the third is equal to x. 10 to the third is 10 times 10, which is 100, times 10, which is 1,000. Uh, x is equal to 1,000. And then I'm going to exponentiate uh, number 35. That gives me 2 to the fourth is equal to x minus 1. Remember the parentheses are very important. If I did not have the parentheses around the negative 1, or if negative 1 was outside of the parentheses or there were no parentheses, it would be a different uh, equation. So 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. 16 is equal to x minus 1. I can add 1 to both sides. Now x is equal to 17. So just for fun, we're going to rewrite number 35 and redo it uh, as a separate problem. And that separate problem is going to be log base 2 of x minus 1 is equal to 4. Now I'm going to, what I need to do is I need to isolate the log function or log expression on its own uh, without any constant values being added or subtracted to it, without anything being multiplied by it or divided into it. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. I have log base 2 of x is equal to 5. Now I end up with 2 to the fifth is equal to x, and that's going to end up being x is equal to 32. So remember, these parentheses do have meaning in terms of how we solve uh, each equation. And then finally, I rewrite or exponentiate uh, each side, and I end up with 3 to the fifth is equal to 3x. So I go to my calculator, because I don't know what 3 to the fifth is off the top of my head. I find out that 3 to the fifth is equal to 243. So 243 is equal to 3x. I divide both sides by 3, and I get x is equal to 71. All right, that's it. Very quick and uh, hopefully a very fun and challenging set of practice problems for solving exponential and log equations. And go back and revisit some of the lesson uh, properties uh, for the same section if you've had a hard time with these practice problems as I've reviewed them. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on Not in Math.